we are going to be changing the oil on our 2020 Yamaha R3. Now the only things you really need, 12 millimeter socket, ratchet, oil filter, and 2.2 liters of oil. Let's go and get started. First thing, you want to crack this loose. Second thing, you want to lay down and get all dirty. So you know you fixed it if you got dirty. You know, as long as you get dirty, it, it, it's fixed. All right. I don't know if you can kind of see there, but it's right there. You want to loosen this bolt down here all the way up. This is your oil pan. Whew. Still warm. No, I don't set that in the oil. I set this up here because we're going to clean these up. Now we're on to step two. The frick out of here. Now this is where it gets a little, a little sketchy here. You want to let it drain. You want to let it drain all the excess oil out now. Yeah. You want to remove this plastic on your oil filter, by the way. Just sit it there for now. Make sure that this O-ring is well lubricated. It's got that stuff on it. Looks nice. No tear, so it doesn't look like it's going to be leaking. Just want to make sure it's the right oil filter. You don't want to get the wrong thing. Make sure you wipe from the inside out so any debris is getting pushed away from the hole. When you put it on, you want to make sure you thread it in straight. From experience, I've always just got them tight by hand. My hand's a little slippery though, so I might want to get... And there is no more oil draining out of your machine. You want to install the butt plug once more into its rightful home. Right in there, and that a hole. Just gonna screw it in. <laughs> gonna screw. <laughs> yeah. I wipe all the excess oil off from the oil filter drained down the side, underneath. That way, when I fill it up with oil, I can immediately tell if it's leaking again or not. So, a good rule of thumb to do. If, you know, you know, as a beginner bike, most people haven't changed the oil. I've changed oil a lot on a lot of different things. You want to wipe up anything on the ground so you can tell if it's leaking oil. Which if you did it right, it's not going to. But sometimes there's a little, there's a crush washer on the drain bolts and sometimes they, well, they just don't like to work as well as they used to. It's a little, once you get that all done, now we are ready to add our oil. So yeah, here you go. Now, I always put a little bit extra oil in it. Just a heads up, so somebody starts freaking out, like, you're good, don't put more. Like, yeah, I'm gonna put more because I do. It's just not, not too much, not, I don't put a way over, I just like, just a splash more, just a little bit. All right, so. I wanna make sure it's not leaking anywhere underneath. Engine bolt looks good. Oh, filter looks good. Now I just gotta start it and make sure. much all it takes hopefully you like the video hopefully it shows you what to do like and subscribe peace out